G'day everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up one of these mouse and keyboard switches to use with your Kronos Zen. Let's get into it. Alright, so just quickly, I don't want to waste anybody's time with this. If you come to this website here, I'll leave a link in the description. This is the beta, the Kronos Max website. These uh, instructions here is how you set up the Zen with mouse and keyboard. This is exactly what I'm going to go through today. If you don't really need me to sit here and go through and show you, you're quite comfortable with just reading that and then doing it yourself. Then just pour, just leave the video, go to the description and uh, go to this website, follow that yourself. It'll be done in no time. However, I understand some people are visual learners, much like myself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through these steps and sort of show you what you need to do to set it up. All right, so let's go. Using the USB A to A cables provided with the mouse and keyboard switch, connect USB 1 to Zen's A3 USB port. So if you have a look at the mouse and keyboard switch that you've got, mine's the Next Tech one I got from Amazon. You don't really have to have the exact same one. I'm pretty confident they're pretty much all the exact same, except different companies put their brand on it. You know what I mean? So um, on the back there, there is the two USB slots. I'm not sure if you can see that on the video, but they are numbered. Uh, so hopefully yours should be two. I've got a one and a two. All right. So it's asking here for us to put USB 1 to Zen's A3 USB port. So if we scroll up here, we can see this diagram and you can see the A3 USB port is the one at the front left, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug uh, one of the USB cables that came with the mouse and keyboard switch into slot number one at the back here. There we go. And then the other end goes to the A3 port of the Zen. So I'll grab this other end of the cable, grab my Zen, right? And it's gonna go in that front left one, all right? So it's gonna go in here, the one that asks us to, A3. Boom, we're in. Pop that back down and we continue on. So, and USB 2 needs to go to your desktop or laptop that's running Windows. Uh, see the diagram for the, we've already done that, right? So USB 2. So this means the other slot that's in the back of your PC switch, the spare one at the back here, we've already plugged up number one. Now we've got to do number two. So get the other cable that's come with your mouse and keyboard switch. You're going to go ahead and plug one end into that number two slot on the back of your switch. That down. And then the other end is just going to go into your, your PC or your laptop, whatever you've got. Now I've got a, um, a USB hub here. I'm just going to plug one into that. Now, after you've done that, you should have both of the USB slots at the back of your PC switch with the USB plugged into them, one going to your Zen and one going to your PC or laptop. After that, we can move on to the next part, which in my opinion is optional because I don't have it plugged in and everything still works fine. So connect a micro USB cable to the Ox 5V port. You can use a 5V USB power brick or connect it to a desktop or laptop USB port. So on the back of the mouse and keyboard switch, you can see it here. Uh, even my one has one. If you get one of the switches, it probably has one as well. On the back there, there is a small slot uh, for the micro USB. But as you can see, mine has nothing plugged into it. I haven't had anything plugged into it since I got it. And the reason being is because I literally have no USB slots left in my PC. Uh, I also have a USB, like the little brick thing that has four USB slots in it. They're all full. So I literally had no USB slots to plug the 5V one into. So I thought, look, I'll just try it without it, see what happens. If worse comes to worse, I can get another USB brick thing, but everything still works. So um, I just moved on to the next step from there and everything was fine. If you continue on without it and things aren't working, then I recommend maybe going and plugging that one in. But if you're like me and you don't have a USB slot or you just don't want to plug it in, then let's just move on to the next step. I mean, because it says here, great for RGB keyboards, which is exactly what I have, but the keyboard still lights up absolutely fine. So anyway, we're moving on. After that, connect up to four times USB devices, perfect for keyboards with two times USB cables. So this is where we're going to plug in our mouse and keyboard. So uh, I've got mine here, I've got the, the, the mouse, all right, and then I've also got uh, the keyboard one here, all right. So what we're going to do is go and plug those into the front USB slots that are on our mouse and keyboard switch, all right. So the back ones are all sorted, now we're looking at the ones at the front. So I'm going to grab probably the keyboard one, all right. I'm going to pop that in the front left as I'm looking at it, front left, like this, all right. And then I'll grab my mouse and I'm just going to put that in the uh, in the far right one, the other one over here. Obviously, you can do whatever you like. That's the way I'm doing mine, okay? Like that. So, let me just sort out my cables. Now, once we've done all that, we're pretty much all good to go. So, the last thing is press the round button to switch between PC and the Zen, all right? So, uh, it's quite easy to do. They're talking about the button that's on top of the mouse and keyboard switch there. So, with your Zen plugged in, obviously, you just need the, uh, the micro USB plugged into the back. The other end going to your PC the same way you've always used it on PC or, you know, or your console, whatever. So looking at my Zen now, all I've got plugged in is the micro one at the back that powers it. We've got uh, on the front left there, we've got one of the USB cables that goes to the USB switch. And now what we want to do as well, because I'm assuming you're watching this because you're going to be using Zen with mouse and keyboard. On the left port, which I'll show you, I'll scroll up so. The A1 port, this one here at the side, we want to plug a controller into that one. So not a PlayStation 5 controller, 
Uh, I'll, I'll use the Xbox One. I've got this one here. I've got a Fusion A Pro 2, whatever bloody controller. All right, I've got one of these. That just plugs into that A1 port, okay? So you can use one of, obviously, an Xbox One, one of those if you got it, a PlayStation 4, whatever you got. Go and grab one and plug that into that side one there, okay? All right, so I've got it set up like this. So we can see, got the Zen over here. You can't really see it too much, but the mouse and keyboard switch is just here, all right? So run the game on Modern Warfare 2. I can use my mouse just as a normal mouse at the moment. If I want to check my loadout, just do whatever I want to do. Uh, however, if you want to change it so the mouse and keyboard is you now registering as a controller, all we need to do is hit the button once on top of the mouse and keyboard switch, and then it changes over. So now you can see the mouse isn't working anymore. The mouse is registering as the as the right stick. So now what you need to do, if you want to navigate the menu, all right, you need to remember what buttons you have mapped on your mouse and keyboard to the appropriate controller buttons to move around the menu, all right? So we can see up the top left there, if you want to go back, we need to press B or circle. If you had a PlayStation controller, I have that map to C on the keyboard. So I would have press C and that would go back, okay? Now you can use A and D to sort of scroll through stuff. You can use this over here as well, the arrows, because I have those mapped to um, the left stick and the D-pad. So you can use it just like that. To enter into the menu, that sort of thing, you can see here, it says press A to play, X for the filter. So press A to play would be X for PlayStation. I have that mapped, which is jump, right? So I have that mapped to spacebar. All right, so I press the spacebar. I didn't realize that my headphones were in the way there. And we get into the quick play part. If we want to start a match, we can start and then there, B to cancel, B, wanna uh, cancel the lobby, leave the lobby, yup, bang, there we go. So if you wanna go back to using it like a normal um, mouse and keyboard, you press the button once on top of the keyboard switch and you're back. You can come into here, you can type whatever you like, you know, um, and then once you need to go back, simply press the button again, wait for it, back to using it like a controller. Now, when you got the mouse and keyboard set up to be used as the controller and you're navigating your way around with the keyboard, you don't have to do it like that. This is one of the reasons why we have the controller plugged in at the side here as well. You can also use that, all right? So if you just wanna use the controller to navigate your way around the menu, do whatever you wanna do, you can pick up the controller and do that. I didn't really have the best view of it, but I mean, it, it, it works just fine, okay? Um, so you can do that too. All right, so one thing I wanna quickly point out as well is you also need to make sure, I'm sure most of you know, but there's honestly, there's definitely some people that don't know this. You need to make sure you've got the aiming input device on controller, okay? Because if it's on, you're not gonna, the Zen can't magically add aim assist to the mouse and keyboard input. It needs to be on controller, okay? So anyway, we're out of that. Just wanted to make sure I added that in there. All right, so as I've got it set up now, the mouse and keyboard is acting as a normal mouse and keyboard, all right? So the mouse isn't doing anything because I've got it selected as controller in the game, all right? So once I press the switch once, wait for it to switch over, there we go. We're now, we now have the movement, all right? So if I put my fingers on the right spot on the keyboard, everything's, you can't really see the keyboard, but you know, everything's uh everything's working and there we go so that's everything i needed to cover for the video it's very easy to do if you have any questions about it feel free to ask those down in the comments cheers for watching i'll see you next time